Your top news story, Team Mighty Haulers has won this year's Kane's Quest. Team Mighty Haulers crossed the finish line first in Labrador City to claim the $100,000 cash prize. Starting on March 6, Kane's Quest 2020 covered over 3,100 kilometers of terrain and a chance to win a snowmobiler's ultimate bragging rights. In other news, the RCMP have charged three people with possession of cocaine and oxycodone for the purpose of trafficking and conspiracy to commit an offense as a result of a drug trafficking investigation by the Buren Peninsula RCMP and the General Investigation Section. As part of the investigation, police conducted a traffic stop that resulted in the arrest of the three occupants of a motor vehicle. A search of the vehicle located a significant quantity of oxycodone and cocaine which were destined for sale on the Buren Peninsula. And finally, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and his wife, Sophie, are in self-isolation awaiting COVID-19 test results. Sophie Gregoire Trudeau began exhibiting mild flu-like symptoms after returning home from a speaking engagement in London in the United Kingdom. Her symptoms have since subsided. In the weather forecast, it will be a pleasant Friday for most areas. Those details are coming up in just a moment. We were getting married in the most beautiful rural setting. My mom got sick and couldn't be with us for our big day. I was heartbroken. Thankfully, we discovered ExploreNet. They responded right away and connected us to high-speed internet. Our big day was incredible because it felt like mom was there. ExploreNet. Connect to what matters. For Friday looks fairly pleasant for most areas of the island and for Labrador as well. However, it does get pretty gross after that. It's going to be kind of a messy weekend. I'll have those details in just a moment. But first, your weather forecast for Friday is looking pretty nice. We're looking at a mix of sun and cloud uh, to mainly sunny skies across the island portion of the, of the province. Minus 4 in St. John's, uh, minus 4 in Gander, and minus 5 in Corner Brook. And uh, in Labrador, a mix of sun and cloud with about a 40 to 60% chance of some flurry activity. Things kind of go downhill Friday night into Saturday, however, because there is another weather system on the way. Your forecast for St. John's for Saturday, we are looking at um, a risk of ice pellets, some rain, and uh, some gusty winds as well. It's going to be uh, plus 5, so of course we're going to see some rain, but there is a risk of ice pellets. And uh, we are going to see some gusty winds for uh, the capital city as well. As we head into Sunday, things cool down once more. Minus 2 as the daytime high, and we're going to see some flurries lingering. Monday, looking at a mix of sun and cloud with a high of minus 6. So it's going to be very cold uh, behind the low, and minus 2 for Tuesday with some mainly sunny skies. In Gander, mainly sunny skies for your Friday. Gander getting into the action on Saturday, looking at uh, some rain and some snow with the risk of uh, some freezing rain and ice pellets, plus 6 as the daytime high. There will be uh, about 3 to 6 centimeters of snow and about 2 millimeters of rain. And then on Sunday, it cools down minus 2 with some flurry activity. Monday, really cold, minus 7 as the high under some mainly sunny skies. And temperatures rebound slightly as we head into your Tuesday. And then finally, for Corner Brook, we're looking at uh, minus 5 as the daytime high uh, for uh, Friday with a mix of sun and cloud. Corner Brook likely going to see more snow than rain with a high of 2 degrees. Sunday looking at flurries of minus 3, and uh, Monday and Tuesday a mix of sun and cloud. Corner Brook going to be quite cool on uh, Monday, minus 8 as the day's on high, minus 4 expected for your Tuesday. That's a look at your news and your forecast, and now you can check out your local details at newfoundnews.ca.